In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to beat the Blitz in Madden 18, and specifically the Cover 2 Blitz, because the Cover 2 Blitz, in my opinion, is the best way to Blitz this season. So I'm going to show you um, out of this gun split close. So I'm in the Atlanta playbook. If you guys want to check out the Atlanta playbook, you can. Um, you can actually get the whole breakdown if you get the premium membership. The premium membership is in the description of today's video if you want it. But one thing I'm seeing a lot of people doing is this uh, Nickel Dog 2 defense or NCAA Blitz 2 or, you know, really any of those defenses from, from the Nickel. And you can just, I mean, you can pick. I'm going to use the double A gap because I think it's harder to read. But the play that I want to show you today is the play um, you want to come out if you're, if you're, if you're using this. I'm going to actually just come out in HP wheel because um, I would be audibly into it anyways. And it would be probably flipped. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So anyways, and then Gronk. Gronk would be, Bennett would be here. And Gronk would be here. All right, HB Will. So the key with the, the, the beating the blitz, and by the way, guys, for those of you that this is your first time watching my, any of my content, just want to introduce myself real quick. My name is Cody and what I try to do is help guys get better at Madden. So if you're interested in sticking around, kind of learning some of my strategies, then I would hit the subscribe button. But anyways, with the cover two blitz, what they're trying to accomplish is a couple things. They're going to, they're going to more than likely use or one of these two guys. They're going to use in the middle of the field because they trust these uh, soft squats and cloud flats to take away the outside of the field. So you're left with kind of a, a weird situation to be in. So what I do is I'd like to basically run short intermediate routes that makes it hard for them to defend. So I'm going to put Brandon Cooks on a, a little spot route and then Deion Lewis, I'm probably going to place him on an out route or a option route, depending on the situation. If it's a blitz, I'm going out route. If it's a um, standard play, I'm going option route. Okay. My snap of the ball. My first read is Martellus Bennett. If they don't have a hard flat, I'm going to throw it. Okay. It's so like right there. That's a soft squat. And it's not going to cover it. Um, if they, let's see if they maybe go cloud flats. Well, uh, same same exact thing. So Martellus Bennett is going to get open to the outside far left pass lead. And he's going to be able to run after the catch for about five five to ten yards. Again, it's, it's just a, a no-brainer to me. No-brainer. So then what's going to happen is they're going to go hard flat. Eventually they're going to go hard flat because they have to stop. Uh, Martellus Bennett, they just can't let me keep throwing that. So they're going to go hard flat, and they're going to be able to intercept it nor more normally. If they go hard flat, they're going to be able to stop this. So that leaves you with a couple of options. The blitzes in this year's game don't get there as fast as people think. What I would do if I was facing this defense specifically is I would slide protect to the left. If you slide protect to the left and they only blitz five people, you're going to be able to stop it. But if they go mid-blitz, for example, and I do the same exact protocol – then you're going to see they're still going to get pressure in. But I can now release it to the back, who's one-on-one -on -one with a safety on that out route. Okay? So you you have options here. This play is built to beat the blitz. Um, so in anyways, so if I'm facing this and they go hard flat, I'm going to still slide protect to the left every time when I see this defense because I'm going to slide to where the nickel back is because I know that's the most consistent way that they're going to be able to get pressure in this year's game. So I slide left. And what I'm going to have open is this route to Edelman, this corner. Uh, the corner route will come open pretty early. What they're going to do is they're going to have their user player take a, take certain people away. Normally, normally in my experience, if they're playing right defense, he's going to play deep to short. So what he's going to do is he's going to take away Edelman. So here he's going to go with Edelman, and that's going to leave this little hook route here to Brandon Cooks. And you'll see this route gets you pretty good game. And again, there's just so much to guard out of one little package here. It's very difficult for them to play cover two, cover two zone blitz. So again, you put him on the hitch. Now they're back to oh, they didn't go soft squat. So I know. The, and here's how you know if they're if they're in a hard flat. If you th if you look to Martellus Bennett and he's literally keen on him, that's when you know. If he's not keen on him, you're going to be fine. You're going to be com completely fine with that. Another thing that I've considered doing is putting Edelman on a smart route out route against this specific defense as opposed to a corner route because he just gets better separation. So if he's on a smart a smart route out route, you see he just it's a flatter route. The other thing that you always have though, 
most people are going to try to take away Rob Gronkowski. So it's just there's a lot to take away. So if they take away uh, Edelman, then you're more than likely you're going to be able to fit this ball in here to Gronk over the middle. More than likely. Um, and again, if they go man-to-man, it's like if I faced mid-blitz, your running back's going to get open against mid-blitz. Deion Lewis. Because, number one, he's matched up on a safety. Number two, the safety doesn't have good man coverage. But number two, and most importantly, the safety is backed off. He's not pressed up. If the safety... If, the, if they brought the safety up here, then watch what happens against mid-blitz. He's not as open. As you can see, he's going to get tackled after a five-yard gain. Okay, so you have that. Now, if you're facing mid-blitz, I'm guaranteeing you that they're going to try to take away Rob Gronkowski because against mid-blitz specifically, Rob Gronkowski is going to eat mid-blitz alive. So they're probably going to take him away. If they do, then that means that... Um, if they take Gronk away, then that means you have these two releases. Martellus Bennett as a quick release and then out route. You also have, um, if they do that, if they go mid blitz, normally you're going to be able to get this corner route like way over their heads. So again, that is how I would use the HB wheel from the split close to beat the blitz. So if anyone, if I'm ever feeling like I just, I just can't beat the blitz for whatever reason, this is my go-to play. This is my go-to play, especially the cover two blitz, because in my opinion, that's the most common defense people are going to face um, in this year's game. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. And again, if you want to get more in-depth with Madden, if you want to take your game to the next level, if you really want to get serious with the game, join my premium membership. You won't regret it. We're getting ready to do a ton of stuff in there they're getting ready to get two new ebooks they got updated uh, the update video this week uh, is coming out tonight i mean they they have so much content so if you really really want to take your game to the next level check out the premium membership i'm also going to start one-on-one -on -one coaching with my premium members as well